As a caution, there are some graphic images in this episode, so if you don't like blood or piercings, you might want to turn it off now. For the people of the Mandan tribes across the Great Plains of America, body suspension is a millennia-old tradition, a way to not just contact the spirituality of an individual, but to prove that someone has truly entered adulthood. This tradition, similar to many in Europe, still continues today. In this edition of Odd Jobs, I meet with Stefan, a suspension artist in Great Falls, Montana. And deep breath out. Okay, one is in. How was it? It was actually pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to go up towards this hole. So you need to change it 90 degrees to keep the net. That's so fun. It is fun. So these ones, the uh, the D-track, the other one, it's very professionally done, just like you would do like in a medical clinic, really. Everything is very controlled. Completely block everybody else out, but if for whatever reason you think that this is just too much, we're going to stop. And there's no shame in it because you're accomplishing something for yourself that not a lot of people actually can do. This is a feat of strength for yourself and psychological, like, test for yourself, okay? Yep, just pick it up like that if you can. Keep pulling up. Okay, how do you feel? I think there's a lot of people in the newer communities that uh, look at this as like some sort of a ritual or a satanic ritual and they connect it with too many different things that are categorically false. Be treats in there. Okay. There'll be a little bit of air pockets in there, but this your body will absorb it and before we're done and when I remove these, I'll actually push it out. Like we'll do the pyramid and then they can really whip around and jump around and have a crazy time doing it. And like James, James, he didn't want to come down. He was seriously. I could live up there. He wants to I live would, up I there. I want to suspend from like the the ceiling of the Four Seasons Arena. I think that would be awesome. We can arrange it. That'd be sick. I'm like, just embrace it, Kaylee. You don't know what you'll feel until you do it. So I just went into it with like allowing it to be like a spiritual experience. Oh, I guess I didn't have to take my shoes off, but I did. Watch it into the direction. See it all bubbling? Oh, yeah. Some people do it because at one point in time they were self-harmers and now they have an option to do something that brings them back to that pain point, but in a controlled environment that's safe for them. In Great Falls, I'm James Rowland, MTN News.